Hello, good evening. Good afternoon, students. Today I'm teach, going to teach you how to draw a hyperbola. The transverse axis is 100 mm, abyssal is 60 mm, and double ordinate is 120. So, how to draw this? I'll just show you. Since it is given as transverse axis is 50 mm, abyssal 60 mm, and double ordinate is 120 mm. So, I need to take a line. So, from here I will start drawing, right? So, let this be point O. So, first I will draw a line and after this I will mark the points. So, it is given as, transverse axis is given as 100 mm. I will take half of the transverse axis, is 50 mm. So, from here I will take, from here I am taking double. So this point let this be O, let this be E, okay, now I name it as point V. Now from V to, I will take as the double or abyssal 60M, so I need to take from here 60M, take from here 60M. So this is my point. What I will take as point E. So this is my transverse axis distance. This is my distance of this car. And double ordinate is given 120 mm. So 120 mm I should take here. So 120 mm 60 from here, 60 from here. But I am taking everything double for your sense. So I will take as for the sketch, to draw a straight line. Then I need to from point E similarly I draw a parallel line. Same length that is Then I will complete this rectangle of PQ or S. Now, I need to divide like line QE and line PQ into four equal parts. I just have a look whether the video has been seen. Yes, I need to divide line QE and line PQ into four equal parts. So, what I will do, with the help of your protractor, I will place it at here. And place my protractor on line QE. Take 30 degrees from here. Exactly done. From here I will take. Draw a line. At an angle of 30 degrees. Now this is actually I am dividing like QE into 4 equal parts. So the same thing. But here I am not using compost as such. I am using so this line QE. I will divide into. 4, 8, 2 equal, 2, 2 divisions each. So, from here, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Oh, sorry. So, this is my uh, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, and 4 dash. Same thing I have to apply to here. So, I place my protractor on PQ. Take 30 degree from here. Then, and draw a line 30 degree same 2 cm each and divide this line into 4 equal parts 1, 2, 3 and so this is my 4, 3, 2, 1 now same procedure what we used to do this are all construction lines, so you sh should be taken care that this is drawn by 2 edge pencil. This 4 dash and 4 edge dash and done. Parallel to it, this, parallel to it, this, 
parallel. So this line becomes 1, 2, 3 and this is will be a 4. Similarly, so Q will be your 4 dash, 4 and 4 dash line. Okay. So this line, I'll join it here. Parallel to here, parallel to here, parallel to here. So this one becomes 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4 dash. Now, same procedure I need to draw here. So what I'll do, I draw from here only. I'll mark it. So there is no issue and similarly this is point D not to get confused and name this as point D so same division how much I got here so from um, this division how much is this division that much only I'll take here so okay. so this also I will divide the line into two equal divisions. Supposing I am facing at 10, 12, 14, 16. Okay. Just check. So this I do the help of a compass. So I can check it. Just divide this line randomly. Two, three. So this becomes one, two, three. And this is become four dash. Now, what I need to do is I'll join with O dash with the corresponding point three. O with corresponding point two. O with corresponding point 1 and similarly this V and join with 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash so V with 1 dash V with 2 dash V with 3 dash similarly my from O this again I will name as 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash this will be 1 2, 3, from 0 to 0 to, from 0 to, please be careful because this I am drawing, slight changes will not be that much accurate, from V to, I am just showing the steps. So you can see here, I've got some expected points. So from 1 to 1. So this is my 1, P1, P2 and P3. So this is my, this is what I've got P1, P2 and P. Similar here, this would be P1 dash, P2 dash and P3 dash. So through these points, I'm just drawing a curve. So from this Q, 3, P2, P1 and again from P1 dash, P2 dash, P3 dash and back to Q. So I'm, uh, this is a required hyperbola what I obtained using this method. Lastly, I'll show the dimension. Some of the dimension may not be accurate because this I have taken for you to understand the steps. So please do follow the steps. Measurements might be because I am using here and this is the lastly I am showing the dimension. So the dimension I will draw the projection line based on dimension line. Show the arrowhead. So this is 50 place in the center above 60 and this distance I should place it here 
this all should be very light a touch pencil but here i cannot use any light or dark i have to use same continuous plus so please this is just the measurement follow the steps so in the center i'll write as one so this is the required hyperbola so this is the hyperbola what i have obtained please do understand the steps the question is draw a hyperbola when the transverse axis is 100 mm in this case 60 mm and double ordinate is 120 hope you understood the measurement may not be that much accurate and mainly this you should draw with edge pencil all this all this a construction and you should draw it to edge pencil so do please kindly follow the step have a nice day thank you and please do subs don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you